These are one in a million F1 moments, like the time when an F1 driver won a race without even finishing it, or the moment when a team made a controversial decision which destroyed an F1 driver's career. And I'm gonna show you all of these unbelievable F1 moments. But we gotta start with this F1 driver, cause he got hit by the safety car in this ridiculous manner. Taki Inui there, you can see it's got an engine problem. And they're giving a precautionary squirt and fire extinguisher. But, oh goodness gracious me, poor old Inui is always the man who seems to be suffering. I bet you didn't see that coming. But what nobody saw coming was the crazy moment at the Italian Grand Prix, which I believe could have been avoided. This Alfa Romeo driver was having a normal practice session when suddenly this happened. That's a big crash as well, and that's the salva of Marcus Ericsson. Turns out there was a DRS issue that caused the crash, but that's just one of the unbelievable moments. Later in this video, we'll show you the controversial decision made by a team which ruined an F1 driver's career. But first, check out what this idiot was doing in the middle of an F1 race. Look, we've got a, a strange guy, and what on earth is he doing? Crossing the race. I've never seen this before. Have you ever seen it, man? Just imagine how stupid you have to be to do this. You don't see that every day. But what you also didn't see is what Haas team principal said about his drivers. Yeah, uh, for two points, uh, I mean, I would have fucked uh, the whole paddock, you know. I'm sure America doesn't mind, but I apologize for the language. What language did they use? Did you drop an F bomb? No. What did you say you would do to the whole paddock? Hug them. <laughs> Man, this guy's a legend. But what was even more legendary was the way Michael Schumacher won a race. It was the British Grand Prix, and of course, Michael was leading. But with three laps to go, this happened. They can sense victory at Ferrari, but there's another twist. That's a penalty notice for Michael Schumacher. He got this stop go penalty for passing Alexander Woods behind the safety car. Things were looking bad for Michael, as it was clear this will make him lose his P1 position. But turns out that didn't happen, because what Michael ended up doing was simply genius. And we'll come back to it. Meanwhile, check out the craziness that this F1 car was creating in a casino. Now that's awesome. But you know what else was awesome? The time when these two drivers had a silly juice fight? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> there it is. Sorry. Man, just imagine the current grid doing this. I bet Netflix will create a whole dramatic episode on it. And before we show you how Schumacher won the losing race in the UK, check out his brutal crash first that happened in Australia, especially since it became a huge controversy. Michael and Damon Hill were competing for the championship in 94. And with only one point difference, it went down to the Australian Grand Prix, which was the last race. Everything was going well for Schumacher, until suddenly, he hit a wall. It became clear that Hill was now going to win the race and the championship for sure. But just when he was about to overtake Schumacher, this happened. Oh, out, out goes Schumacher! Germany's out of the Australian Grand Prix! And Both cars couldn't be fixed due to this collision, and since Schumacher was one point ahead of Hill, he ended up winning his first championship title, despite all the crazy appeals that were going on to stop this decision. But nothing could stop this F1 driver too from showing his, let's just say, unbelievable talents. Oh, these bloody idiots. What the thing will never change? What the thing is doing, honestly? Yeah, guys, this guy is so stupid. Man, Mazepin just keeps surprising me every day. But what was most surprising was the way Michael Schumacher won that race in the UK. Since he had no choice but to serve that penalty, he made this brilliant move. Because Michael Schumacher is on lap 60 now. He's in the pit lane. Schumacher, Schumacher in the pit lane. In. He crosses the start-finish line now, I believe. Well, to, yes, it's lap 60. To he took his penalty after finishing the final lap. So when he drove into the pits, he crossed the checkered line since the Ferrari pit was ahead of it, which meant technically he won the race. Genius, right? And this thing might have shocked everyone at the moment, but what shocked Schumacher was his horrific crash, which he can never forget. It was raining heavily at the 1998 Belgian Grand Prix, so naturally every driver was struggling. So much so that literally at the race start, David Coulthard spun on turn one and hit the trackside wall. This created a domino effect as several others crashed into him as well, causing one of the largest pileups in F1 history. 13 cars to be exact. But this still wasn't the most shocking thing that happened that weekend. Things started to become normal after the restart. 
Michael Schumacher took the lead and started to make a commanding gap from others. He was so ahead that he was about to lap David Coulthard. But just when he was about to do so, this happened. These appalling conditions. Oh, God! Schumacher hits David Coulthard is out of the Belgian Grand Prix. Schumacher was so furious that he marched into McLaren's garage to say a few gentle words. Oh, look at him, look at him. He's, he's David Coulthard. He's going to have it out with David Coulthard. This is a bit like Nigel Mansell and Ayrton center at that Belgian Grand yes, Prix. I don't know about you, but I've never seen Schumacher so angry before. No wonder Verstappen's a bit like him. What do you think? Is Verstappen like Schumacher? Both are extremely talented for sure, though. But look, we're into the top three rarest moments now. So, brace yourself, because things are about to go to a whole new level. Like the ridiculous crash, which became the most controversial moment in F1 history. The 2008 Singapore Grand Prix was pretty major, as many drivers were determined to win it. Sadly, Alonso in his Renault wasn't a part of those many drivers, as he was starting P15. But in order to undercut, Alonso pitted on lap 12. Pit stop went fine and everything seemed normal. But then, out of nowhere, this happened. Oh, big crash! That's Nelson Piquet! This caused a safety car. And since everyone went into the pit, except a few including Alonso, of course, Alonso eventually went from P15 to P1 and won the race. But this is where it gets interesting. Even though many people suspected that something's wrong, nothing happened at the moment. But then, next year, Nelson Piquet, the driver who crashed, gets dropped by Renault. And so immediately the secrets come out. Turns out the claim was right. Piquet did crash on purpose in order to get his teammate to the front of the grid. Some even say that few members of the FIA did find out early on about this incident, but still did nothing. This became one of Formula One's darkest moments. Some people even say that Nelson also practiced how to crash on the warm-up lap. Now that's some crazy commitment. But Martin Brundle has shown some crazy commitments too, due to which some of his moments even became legendary. A quick word with you for British television. English. You do understand English. No English. Uh, can you have a quick word? The viewers, what, I think this is your second Grand Prix, yeah? This is my second. I went to one in Spain. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, that's always interesting to know, isn't it? How many Grand Prix have you been to? Um, let's see. One. Shame you're too old to have driven here, really. I am too old to have driven here, but uh, you would have liked it. Yeah. Shame you wasn't fast enough to get to Formula One. Oh! That must have burned. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Here's the rarest F1 moment of all time. Everyone knows what happened at 2021's final race, but what you didn't know are the brutal steps Mercedes took to stop the final decision. It all started when Latifi in his Williams crashed, which called out the safety car. Mercedes got under huge pressure as they couldn't decide if Hamilton should pit or not. But the decision to ultimately not pit turned out to be good, because the marshals then instructed that no overtaking will occur. But then, on the penultimate lap, this shocked everyone. Race control are now saying lapped cars to overtake the safety car. And this is ending, wow! Michael, Michael, this isn't right. Michael, that is so not right. That is so not right. So, By side, Hamilton will be ahead. Verstappen is absolutely desperate to get on with this. He just overtook on the safety car. Mercedes tried some pretty clever ways to revoke this, like alleging that Verstappen overtook Hamilton during the safety car. Or saying Michael Massey, the race director, violated safety car procedure by allowing only cars in front of Verstappen to unlap themselves and not any others. But none of it worked, as the stewards declared that the race director has the overriding authority. This shocked everyone. I mean, even other drivers didn't hold back. Lando Norris said the last lap was made for TV. Even Nico Rosberg, who let's just say didn't have the best of relations with Lewis, said that Massey did not follow the rules and that Horner demanding one more lap of racing was inappropriate. But some F1 legends did sympathize with Massey's decision. Sebastian Vettel said, Everyone has an opinion. I think leave the stewards alone. Horner defended Massey's decision, saying Mercedes lost the race due to their strategic errors rather than from the restart. All in all, that was some ridiculous times for F1. But you know what else is ridiculous? The craziest race wins F1 has ever seen. Like the time when Hamilton won the race, but in a way that made Mercedes very angry. Or the craziest way Red Bull won a race, which shocked the entire world. And I know you want to hear more about that, so just click this video right here.